Still didn't get one. You haven't got one yet? <laughs> Not yet. Everybody's got one that's tried these. Well, we got a few more to try here. Oh, here's a half. Ew. It's like a severed zombie limb skittle. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Mr. Long is still trying to find the zombie flavored skittle in the pack. Everyone else has found one. Nope, that wasn't Are you <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Maybe we ate all of them and you just lucked out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'll, one. I'll try one more, then we'll go with today. <laughs> I'm gonna try gonna one too. One I'm more. probably gonna get it. No, who? That was a good one. No, nope, yeah. still blueberry. <laughs> well, that boogeyman that's boogeyman blackberry. Whoa. Anyway. That's right. Today we're trying something that my sister, Mandy, brought to us. A uh, little novelty item. Chocade. Milk chocolate. <laughs> for life's little boo-boos. They are individually wrapped chocolates in the shape of a bandage. Now, the name, though, just instantly sounds chalky. C-H-A-L-K-Y. Uh -huh. Or I-E. Anyway, sounds chalky. <laughs> to me. And they, you know, they kind of rattle. So we have not it's looked chalky. at these yet. But for over 20 years, they've been helping people of all ages cheer up. Have you ever heard of them? Uh -uh. Yeah. I've, I've never seen them. Never no, never. I remember never the chocolate them. cigarettes. Well, the candy cigarettes when I was little or the bubblegum cigars. <laughs> this is for all the people that got cancer from the chocolate cigarettes, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> they, they. So let's see here. No, I have never seen those. Where did she find them? Do you know? I don't know. I do not know. I love the box, though. However... When I think of Band-Aids, I think of discarded Band-Aids and how nasty they are to find one, like on the street or, you know, like lying around and, and just, ew, and, and that's not something I want to eat, you know? We were talking about making some chocolate scabs, too. Remember? Yeah, well, you got to make, make them out of, like, candy cherries mash or something. Mash cordial, <laughs> cherry cordials. So, it's the packet, it's chocade. For milk chocolate for life's little boo-boos. Let's see. So I guess it's just going to be regular chocolate, but it's going to look like a Band-Aid. Yeah. Got to open it so that it doesn't sound... Um... Oh, yep. It's melts got the... in your hand, not in your mouth. That's right. Oh. Melts in your injured hand. It's a little bit thicker. So it's a little thicker than a Band-Aid. <laughs> that wouldn't really adhere to your body, but let's see if the chocolate's any good. Yeah, you know, if they just had a smear of, like, strawberry jam Ugh. right on the... Or where it's thick, where it's thick, if they packed it with some of that jelly, strawberry <laughs> jelly, so you buy into it, it's like running down your face, and it's like, Ugh. hmm, it's good chocolate. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. You know, those would be great since we're about Halloween time. I mean, that's probably a great Halloween treat to to be trying at this time of year. It would be because it's got the gruesomeness of, um, you know, injury. With the uh, tastiness of treats, <laughs> but I like that idea. They should have they should have gone right in the middle of the of the gauze and put like a layer of, of red filling or something mm -hmm, in there. Mm -hmm. But they, they probably wanted to sell a product and not gross people <laughs> out. But they make grosser stuff than that. They make those eyeballs at Halloween, the chocolate eyeballs yeah. filled with uh, what peanut butter or caramel or something, mm -hmm. so they ooze and. Ugh. We used to eat the the gumball eyeballs. And I would put them inside when I, I had a skeleton in my classroom when I was in Monticello. <laughs> I put them in there. That kind of creeped people out. Well, I have a real hard time eating things like gummy, gummy rats, gummy snakes, gummy worms, uh, the chocolate eyeballs with filling. Um, they make those little gummy body parts, you know, Halloween, like little thumbs or brains. <laughs> and I can't, I can't eat something if it grosses me out like that, if, it, if it's associated with like a part of the body or, or injury. So this this isn't bad because it pushes the limit though because as I was eating it, I was thinking of like horrible cuts and wounds. And so um, it was good though. I mean, it was, it was chocolate. It was, it was, it was just chocolate. a chocolate little novelty chocolate band-aid, but it is kind of fun. And what I do like about it is the whole idea of helping all people, people of all ages cheer up. That This would be something cute to give to like a little kid that was injured or something, you know, to just cheer them up, you know, say like, do you need a band-aid for your mouth too? You know, <laughs> heck, it'd be good for adults to cheer them up if they're hurt, you know, I mean, um, maybe not in that training video you showed me with some of those injuries. It might require a little more bandage uh, cheering up than that, but thank you, Mandy. This was fun. This was, was, fun. was cute. If yeah. I were to rate that, I would, I would probably give that a, a good four. I thought the chocolate was okay. Wasn't great, but it was, it was okay. 
I've had worse. But it's for the it's for the novelty of it. It's for the funness. I like your idea when when the kid at home gets an accident and says, "Oh, so here you go. Here's for your you know, here's one for your mouth." Then you've got the kid hurting themselves all the time for yeah. the tree. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I need another band aid. I need another band aid because uh, kids like band aids anyway. I don't know if yeah. your kids ever like uh -huh. like oh, I've cut myself. I need a band aid or my band aid fell off. I need a new one. It's like, I can and one can never find them. You can. We can you never know. find the box when you do find the box. It's empty. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Whenever you're looking for a band aid, someone put the band aid box back empty. You know, <laughs> or they always want the cartoon ones. You know, I want a Rapunzel. You know, no, I want Spider Man. <laughs> So, yeah, I would give it a four. Four Jedi. I would go a four because um, a fun novelty. Because I think it needed some more ooze and gore coming out of it, you know. Like, yeah. no, just kidding. But thank you, Mandy. And um, We're going to try another one. try another one. He's... Nope. You, are you for real? <laughs> I swear. These came out of the bag here. These are not... We. This is... <laughs> are you sure? I am positive. <laughs> you really have I'm not gotten one. I've got a lemon lime here. or the lime flavor. Uh, it's well, melon green is the green. Apple, melon, Mummified melon. I like the green. It's one. a fruit flavor. I'm gonna try another one too. Let's see my luck here. <laughs> oh boy, another purple one. Nope, I'm fine. <laughs> I know what they taste like, and it scares me. <laughs> so. Well, anyway, anyways, we'll see you next we'll time. See you. We'll let a, you know. I may have a haircut next time. I my my hair is kind of. And mine will probably look the same. People are starting calling me Lisa, so I don't. I don't get any better looking. So anyway, we'll see you later. <laughs> see you later.